A family soon discovered they weren't alone in their supposedly cozy home. An unsettling presence began to make itself known, pushing them to bring in a ghost hunting team. Though the team offered some relief, it wasn't enough. They decided to set up cameras around the house, hoping to find some peace of mind. What they captured on film was chilling beyond words. Look, nobody's even by this. Like, this is crazy. How the heck... Look, 10.53.49. There it goes. And nobody knew what the hell just happened. But I'm telling you, this is some creepy shit. Show me that picture on your phone. To make matters worse, the youngest daughter, who was only four years old at the time, had been wandering around just before the utensils exploded everywhere. She had been saying she saw a white ghost lingering nearby, and we all know that children are more sensitive to seeing those from the other side. The full video shows the little girl clearly terrified of that particular area, and for all the strange activity to happen right there. Something definitely feels off, doesn't it? It reeks of something spooky. A man named Wallace began his new overnight security job at the Dallas Museum of Art. As the sole guardian of the museum through the night, everything seemed routine for the first few days. But then, one night, as he was making his rounds alone in the dimly lit galleries, he heard a chilling sound behind him. He turned to look, only to be met with an unsettling silence. Man, I've been clocked in eight minutes. Hey! Hey! I'm not finna go check shit. I'm not going down there. Shit. Oh, goddamn, the door lock. Oh. Damn. Somebody down there, they're gonna stay their goddamn ass down there. I'm not going. Shit. Hurry up and get up these bitches. He didn't want to see what might be lurking in the shadows below, so he locked the door behind him. But moments later, the sound came again, and a chilling realization hit him. He wasn't alone. Hey, somebody fucking in here with me. I'm up here doing this damn job. These folks want me to do all this walking in the dark. I'm not walking down there in no motherfucking dark. Hey, hey, not coming the fuck out there, man. Somebody is down there with me. Somebody in here with me. When I got this job, I told them I don't do things like this. And I got my camera on, bitch. You can go if you just come out. I let you go free. But don't try to just pop out on me. You know what I'm saying? Scare the fuck out of me. Make me shit all on myself on the job. Come on now. Come on now. I'm just trying to get my goddamn hours and go home now. You act like he don't hear me. You know you better to come on. I'm not finna die. I'm telling y'all, I'm finna go. And the clock don't going this way. Fuck that. After no one emerges from the shadows, he is overtaken by a wave of dread. His heart races, and he bolts out, desperate to escape the creeping fear. He takes a few minutes to steady himself before returning. But when he investigates, the place is eerily empty. A shiver runs down his spine as he realizes he has no idea what he's gotten himself into by taking the night shift. Let me know what you think. Ever since they moved into their new apartment, Joy Cialone and his family have been haunted by eerie disturbances. Their furniture and belongings seem to shift on their own, and their infant son's toys turn on and off unpredictably. Strange noises of doors and cabinets opening and closing by themselves echo through the apartment. One day, Joey hears a particularly unsettling sound coming from his son's bedroom. Driven by a need to prove the supernatural occurrences, he grabs his phone and starts recording. What he captures is deeply unsettling. 
So me and my wife have been living in this apartment for about six months now. We've been living in this apartment complex for about four years, probably more than that. For the past two weeks, some weird things have been happening um, in our son's room. Um, stuff have been like moved around and we keep hearing noises and it sounds like stuff's being like closed and shut. Um, I've never got anything like actually on camera. Um, my wife is actually uh, staying with my baby at my mom's because they're kind of like freaked out right now. Or we're about to move out anyway, but they're just staying there for the time being because it's weird. We don't really have any explanations for it. Not that I think it's ghosts, but I don't have any other explanations for it. So I wasn't going to record, but I, I actually I came here to feed the cats. We have two cats who have to stay here, unfortunately, because my mom is allergic to cats. Um, so I came over to feed them and I, I noticed that in his room, my son's room back here, there's one of my cats, I can hear his toy being played. And you can't really hear it right now. Um, but we keep the door closed because one, we always kept the door closed because we don't want the cats to go in there and get hair all over because they're really floofy cats. Um, but I can, hear the, I can hear the toy playing and it was not on before. And it is playing right now. And I don't know why it's playing right now. Um, I didn't leave it on. But even if I did leave it on, like I'll turn it off. Even if I did turn it on, it wouldn't automatically play. You'd have to, even if I brush over the keys, it doesn't really go. So you'd have to really press the button and then it go. And it was not on and it turned on and I could hear it. And that's why I started recording. And now that I'm looking around, I've like, there's stuff knocked over. There's plants knocked over, there's fake plants knocked over. There's books on the ground. The wipes are on the floor. I don't know what is going on. And there is no one here. I am here by myself. There is nobody here. I'm here by myself. I'm in the father's closet right here. I'm just trying to debunk everything. There's nothing, nothing here. Did you see that? Am I insane? Am I insane? I someone just walked by the window. And I will, I will go out there and show you that no one is here. This door is locked. This is the door you're just looking at. This door is locked. There's nothing out here. Nothing out here. There's a closet door. This is also locked. I don't think we've ever opened that door. It's always been locked. Just the weirdest things are happening. Weirdest things are happening. The electronic toy flickers to life on its own, casting an eerie glow across the room. As Joey scans the area, a chilling shadow moves past the balcony window, barely visible. He rushes to check, finding nothing outside and no place for anyone to hide. The window overlooks an enclosed balcony 12 feet above the ground. Climbing up and vanishing from sight would be nearly impossible. With growing unease, Joey hurries outside. Later that evening, a notification from the nanny cam in his son's room catches his attention. When he reviews the footage, he is horrified by what he sees. If you look really closely, the rocking chair starts to move. It's in the corner. You can see it's very slight, it's very slight, but you can see the shadow kind of moving, it's rocking. On its own, there's no one there. Everyone is at my mom's house right now. Everyone's at my mom's house. And then the wipes fly off the dresser. And then that, the hamper, or maybe the hamper falls over. Like what is going on? No one's there. What is happening? In the dimly lit corner of his son's bedroom, a rocking chair begins to move on its own, swaying back and forth as if an unseen presence is seated in it. Suddenly, Baby wipes shoot out of the dresser, and a hamper topples over, crashing to the floor. Joey confides that the family has already arranged to move to a new apartment, and until then, they'll be staying at his mother's house. This footage was captured by a security camera hidden in a girl's bedroom, set up to keep an eye on her. It's around 3 a.m., long past her bedtime, but she isn't asleep. Suddenly. She bolts into her father's room, shaking and breathless, claiming there's something horrifying on the ceiling. Her father, assuming it's just a bug, checks and reassures her that there's nothing there before sending her back to bed. However, when he reviews the footage the next morning, he is left in a state of sheer 
terror. Here's what the camera recorded. The lights flicker on and off, casting eerie shadows across the room, while the light switch seems to toggle itself in rhythm with the flickering, as if an unseen hand is playing with it. Despite this unsettling display, the entire family, his daughters, himself, and his wife, are all fast asleep. Suddenly, his youngest daughter stirs awake her gaze fixed on the ceiling as if she spotted something horrifying up there. Panic grips him as he realizes that his daughter might have seen something truly sinister. The growing dread is palpable as strange occurrences multiply in the house. In a desperate attempt to protect his family, he rearranges the girls' beds, hoping to restore some semblance of safety. But despite his efforts, the nightmare continues to unfold. And one night, something even more terrifying happens while his younger daughter sleeps. A strange, glowing orb hovers ominously around her bedroom. Just as it vanishes from sight, unsettling, eerie sounds begin to echo through the room. A chilling omen. The following night, the unsettling noises grow even more intense, filling the silence with a haunting dread. On a different night, his oldest daughter woke up to a chilling experience. She claimed she felt a cold, creeping touch on her foot. Watch carefully. As you can see, she jolts upright, her foot twitching as though something cold had brushed against it. Bewildered, she glances around the room, her mind racing with thoughts that it might have been her dog. But there's no one in sight, and an icy dread starts to settle in. Her father, desperate for answers, posts these videos online, hoping someone can shed light on the unnerving events. Until more is revealed, this unsettling mystery may linger in the shadows. A man named Tony runs a TikTok account by the name Dude. My house is haunted. For years, he's been plagued by a dark and persistent force within his home. At the height of this torment, he often heard phantom footsteps echoing through the halls, glimpsed eerie, ghostly figures, and even narrowly escaped knives that seemed to fly through the air on their own. Tony was convinced the malevolent spirit haunting his home was that of a child. To test this theory, he placed a ball on the floor in front of a security camera, hoping to see some sign of interaction. What he captured on film was something he could never have imagined.
after trying every possible solution and exhausting all his options, the activity in his home finally came to a halt. But just as things seemed to be settling down, eerie signs began to emerge, hinting that the entity might be making a chilling return. Okay, I was making the video showing you guys that this lamp behind me is moving, and I did two videos because it kept moving and kept moving and kept moving, and I was getting ready to shut it off because I was kind of tired of watching it move, and as soon as I went to hit the phone and turn it off, the light came on. I kid you not, I gotta look and see if I caught it, but the freaking light came on, this, this light right here, and it's still moving. It's still moving. It's still going. A light hanging from the ceiling began to swing back and forth on its own, despite no one being near it and no strings visible. Tony twisted and turned the lamp, showing every possible angle to prove that he wasn't the one making it move. The eerie swinging was his first hint that something was once again lurking in his home. In the days that followed, he faced something so terrifying that it made his hair stand on end. Okay, uh, as you can see, it's a little after three o'clock. And I'm um, hearing kids outside playing. If you listen close, you can hear them. But I've been hearing what sounds like a kid in the house. <laughs> I know it's probably just an echo from them over here. See, I can hear, I can hear those kids out there. These are some masks my friend got me from Argentina. See, I can hear those kids. Let me move in here. See, you can hear them a little better. They're over behind my backyard. Let me move into the kitchen here. And you can see. see, you can kind of, you can hear them out there pretty good. Somebody mowing their yard see that sounded like that was in here <laughs> I swear it sounds like it's coming from in here there's nothing in the bathroom I was just in here so I know it's nothing in here I swear I came down like Right down there, it sounded like it came from one of the back rooms or like in the hallway or something. That was weird. What is that? You gotta be kidding. You gotta be fucking kidding. You gotta be I swear that sounded like it was in the house. Shit. Shit. Even though the kids were playing outside, 
Tony was convinced he heard one of the voices coming from inside the house. He crept through each room, his heart pounding. When he reached the kitchen, a chilling, disembodied voice whispered behind him, clearly saying, See ya. Somebody mowing their yard. See, that sounded like that. Mowing their yard. Mowing their yard. See, that sounded like that was in here. He walked toward the source of the voice, his steps echoing down the dark hallway. As he peered into the gloom, a chilling whisper slithered through the air, saying, See you soon. What is that? See you soon. Gotta be kidding. You gotta be. What is that? See you soon. Gotta be. What is that? See you soon. Gotta be kidding. You gotta be fucking kidding. You gotta be kidding. The chilling voice startled him so much that he nearly jumped out of his skin. The crystal clear sound of it was unmistakably coming from inside the house. But since he was alone at the time, this left him utterly perplexed and terrified. A man named Daniel, who's been posting videos about camping for the last eight years. He insists he's no expert, yet his channel is filled with countless videos of his wild, stealth and woodland camping adventures. In August 2023, however, Daniel uploaded a video that took a chilling departure from his usual forest escapades. In this eerie footage, Daniel ventured into a secluded patch of woods near his home. He navigated through the darkened forest, pausing to sample some berries and hinting at what his dinner would be later. After wandering down a desolate path, Daniel chose a spot to set up camp. As he began preparing his meal, an unsettling atmosphere began to creep into the scene. We're going to be out Friday night, but I'm going away Saturday, so I've got a bit of a drive as well. So I didn't want to be tired, and it's going to throw it down Friday night as well. And rain camping is really good. A badger. Hello? I hope I got that on camera. I really hope I did. Because if I didn't, and I'm showing this, people won't believe that. Just my heart's beating a bit quicker there. I'll just give you a full circle round of what I'm looking at. Now, apart from them in the distance playing whatever they're doing, whatever spot in football summit, I've just heard like summit or someone walked literally past me. As Daniel talked to the camera, he suddenly heard footsteps out of nowhere. It sounded like someone was rushing toward him, walking eagerly close to where he was sitting. Unease creeping over him, he sprang up to look around, but there was no one in sight. Though shaken, he tried to carry on with preparing his meal. But as time dragged on, things only grew stranger. There's that noise again now. Hello? Hello? You got a bit of that. 
there's nobody here. And it sounds like someone's just walking around. I, I can handle it one. Can you wear it? How can I use that? It's like it's just there. From somewhere nearby, the disembodied footsteps returned, echoing with an unsettling clarity. He jumped up, heart racing, and began to search the area. But his blood ran cold when he found nothing. Again. Despite the creeping dread, Daniel forced himself to eat his meal and set up camp for the night. As he lay in his sleeping bag, the footsteps resumed, emerging from the darkness and drawing closer. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest. I can't stay here now. I want to be a wimp. I don't care if people call me a wimp in the comments, but I can't stay here. I'm, I'm too unsettled. I'm nervous. I've done camping like this a load of times. I think I'm gonna go find somewhere else to get this bivvy set up. But I, I'm leaving this spot. Like now. So I packed my stuff away and already I'm regretting it. I'm regretting packing away. But I just keep doing it. I've got one side of me telling me to stop being stupid. It's an animal, it's animals. And I've got other side saying, well, didn't sound like that earlier. Finally, Daniel made the decision to leave the woods and head back home. It was a choice that might have saved his life if those footsteps had belonged to a person. But if they weren't, then what was lurking in the shadows of the woods? While working late at night, a woman heard strange noises outside her home, so she decided to check it out. And what she encountered was utterly terrifying. Take a look. <laughs> Gimana? Oh, nak pergi tangga nak buat maksiat ni. After this grave encounter with the terrifying entity, 
she found herself back inside her house. She went outside to check on her neighbours, but at one point she encountered the scary entity again. She ran back to her house, but the entity followed her inside. The video ends here, and we will wait for further updates.